Hello everyone and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption Undead Nightmare. We are here in Tall Trees and we have a side quest to complete here, so let's go check that out. <laughs> ah, ah, I got one, mister! Hey! I got one! Got what, mister? The damn Sasquatch! The filthy thing was gonna eat my dog when this girl hollered out and I shot the thing right through the heart! Boom! Oh, like that! You feeling all right, mister? I've seen a lot of strange things recently, but... No Sasquatch running around here. Nor no place else. They, they're made up. There's Sasquatches every place, cowboy. They're nastier than your mother-in-law with a bad case of that virus. Down in Manzanita Post, they ate a little girl. Are you serious? Do I look like I'm joking? The hills are infested with them. Kill them! Kill the bastards before they kill all of us! Kill them! Kill them! I ain't afraid of you, you dumb hairy bastards! Right, well, I guess we have some horrible monstrous baby devouring Sasquatches to hunt. As, uh, as we do. I like how John was kind of incredulous about the idea of Sasquatches being around. Right? As if that was the weirdest thing that he's seen today. Oh, there's a cliff. Oh, there's a zombie horse right there to the left. Hmm. Yeah, they'll just wander around. You can break them if you want, but we have an actual horse, so no need to do so right now. So this should be where the first Sasquatch is located, so let's just look for him. There he is. Just walking around. Well, that was easy. Let's see if he had anything on him. I guess when you slay a mythical creature, you might as well steal its lunch money. Or at least it's eyes. Yeah, just uh, just grab its parts. Why not? I'm not sure what you actually do with the parts that you collect from these various critters. Um, there is a use for undead parts that you can collect later on, but I'm not sure about these others. Also, it can be a bit of a pain to actually find this Sasquatch here because. Again, we are playing this on the original hardware and the resolution is a lot lower than it was in the main campaign, which of course we were playing on the Xbox One X for the most part. Yeah, I imagine uh, going down to 720p for after being used to this game in 4K is uh, quite, quite the downgrade. It certainly is. Let's just see where the next one is. Of course, the frame rate will also take pretty big dips here in tall trees in particular. Not right now, but it's gonna happen. Let's go! Alright, where are you? So far, I haven't really seen these Sasquatches do much of anything. They're just kind of walking around. Yeah, they're just kind oh, of hold on. by themselves. That is that is an undead cougar, so let's get rid of that, shall we? Cougars were bad enough in the main game, and now they're undead, which makes them a bit more resilient. So we don't want to really hang out in areas with a lot of them. Or even more than one of them. Seems like a good call. Well, there is a hunting challenge later where we have to kill, I think, three of them with the torch. So that's gonna be great. Oh, hmm. It works just like the knife challenges in the main game. So we can soften them up with guns at least. So it's not as bad as it sounds, but it's still pretty annoying. Not to mention a bit hazardous to your health. Yeah, just a little bit. 
So we have two more big fellers here in the forest that we need to take down for the sake of all the infants in West Elizabeth. So let's go and find them. Come on, where are you? That looks to be one right there. And that leaves only one. Oh, he's actually survived that one. One more to go. And he gets his own kind of mission marker as well. Oh, that's surprisingly kind. I mean, they all had right, had like the um green radius, but... Yeah, but that's just a radius. This is actually pinpointing it. Let's go. So let's go see what that's about. Creature of the night. You'd be granting me peace. Why is that? Keep you from eating more babies? In the name of all the traits, are you talking about human? You eat babies. You have to to survive. Everyone knows that. Ain't your fault. We eat berries and mushrooms, you fool. So we did. Now none of us are left. Some. Maniacs been murdering us. I'm the last of my kind. We've lived in these hills a thousand years. You eat babies. If you say so, human. My family is gone. My kind is gone. I can't take it anymore. Make it stop. <laughs> yeah, I often feel like that too, buddy. Anyway, I know that Sasquatches can still spawn here in tall trees every once in a while, like in random encounters, so... We'll just leave this guy be. We're not gonna shoot him. He's not the only one left, even though he thinks he is. So we, we drove a species to extinction just because someone got freaked out. Pretty much. Good job! Mission accomplished. So we head over here to Cochine, which of course is where Dutch was holed up in the main game. And it's also overrun by zombies, so let's just go and deal with that. If we can ever hit any of them. I am cutting out a lot of these... These town defense or... Whatever you call these parts. Because, I mean, they're just shoot a whole bunch of zombies until the game tells you to stop shooting zombies. Appreciated. There's a... Not... A, once you've seen one tower defense sequence, I'm pretty sure you've seen like 90% of them. At least somebody left some dynamite lying around. Andy! And look how many there are. Yeah, well, I mean, this seems like pretty standard for a zombie in invasion, but like... Uh, I could not imagine John. running and gunning in, uh, of that, this many zombies in this engine. Yeah, it's not great as I get stuck on this rock here. 
And especially on the PS3, the frame rate will really chug when there's a lot of like alpha effects going on and a big zombie horde just running at you and all that stuff. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, these games were probably targeting 360, huh? Yeah, the 360 version of Red Dead is noticeably better. It runs at a higher resolution, it has more footage in here in the um, open world, and it also runs at a steadier frame rate. The PS3 version usually struggles to hit 30. Anyway, never mind that, because we have found a mythical creature, and it's this nice horsey boy here. Oh, come on, come on, just... no. Don't go over there. So let's tame this beast, shall we? I gotta admit, I never quite understood how the horse breaking minigame works. I mean, I know that you are supposed to keep John centered, but because the camera is just swinging from side to side constantly, it's really hard to actually tell when you are centered. Yeah? So I just kind of randomly tap the analog stick left and right based on which way John is leaning. And eventually it works. So we have tamed the first of the four horses of the apocalypse. And this boy here is Pestilence. <laughs> I actually kind of love the theming there. And the game is about to tell us about Pestilence. Pesty boy here. <laughs> Let's just see what it says. Yeah, it's almost impossible to kill it. It has like an obscene amount of health. Like it can, it can take several hits from a bear and keep on trucking like nothing happened. Nice. The only problem is that we can't get the deeds for these horses until we actually tame all of them. So we can't like summon them at will. We have to go break them again. Oh, okay. Or deeds. Well, they are called blood pacts in this, but they are the same thing. Alright, so here we are at the Pacific Union Railroad Camp, and same deal. Uh, actually, I think this... I don't even know where we are at this point. Let's see, where are we? No, yeah, that was the railroad camp because we are now, go now going to Thieves Landing. This place is going to start to look the same after a while. It doesn't help with when we're uh, in constant, like, twilight. Alright, so let's go see what the survivor here wants, if we can actually get to them. And we now have four dots, so this is a little bit more challenging. A lot more zombies to deal with. Nothing we haven't seen before. So yeah, that is really my number one criticism of this DLC, that the core gameplay is just super repetitive, which is fine as long as you're just doing like the main missions and Maybe like liberating these towns once, but if you're if you're gonna do all the challenges and stuff, you have to do this over and over. It's just like why I don't want to do this anymore. They they really went for uh, quantity over quality here. Kinda yeah, the GTA 4 DLC packs they were like they had more variety to them. They weren't just the same two missions over and over. Although you could argue that GTA 4 was the same one mission over and over. <laughs> well, okay, same two missions because you had the car chases and the and the man shoots. Check out my headshot skills. Would any of this running and gunning work any better in the Red Dead 2 engine? Ah, uh, no. Okay, so it Red Dead 2 feels more of the same, or, or feels similar to Red Dead 1, then. Kinda, yeah. It has a little bit more weight to it, I think. Ah, okay. And also, this is the only time we can actually see Thieves landing in broad daylight. Really? Because it's always kinda dark here in the main game. 
I think in one of the epilogue missions where we come through here with Jack, there's also... It's also sunny out, but... But yeah, that's very rare. But that guy's not a zombie. Anytime. None of us have got much right now. Well, I never. Yeah, that was just a bandit trying to rob this lady, so we we dealt with that. And we get a whole one bullet for our trouble, so that's great, thanks. It's better than nothing, I guess. Well, I mean we used one repeater around to to kill him, so oh well. Kind of a wash. Let's go, Pestilence! Let's go see Bonnie at the McFarlane Ranch and see how she's holding up. Okay, I'm not sure if this is the bitrate playing tricks with my eyes, or... But is, does Pestilence, like, emit, like, a greenish-yellow cloud? As it he... does, it oh, does. Oh, that's kinda cool. And a bit gross. Yeah, all the horses of the apocalypse have some kind of effect going on. Some of them most more frame rate crippling than others. So five dots, huh? Yep. I think the most that we get in one of these places is nine. Oh man, <laughs> fucking nine? Yeah, that's one of the last missions, so. It makes sense for it to be that high, but it's still kind of a pain in the ass. Feel like I could go make a sandwich right now, come back and not miss a single thing. But yeah, I decided to have some mercy on the viewers and just got this down to, well, not the highlights, but just the early and um, last bits, I guess. And some funny stuff in this happens. Because there's some shenanigans on occasion. I think this one here is the last zombie we need to kill. Oh, come on, that was a headshot. So that is another. Oh, hold on. John's legs, they're having some minor issues, but never mind. Let's He's just loot some of these guys and then go talk to Bonnie. Nothing uh, gets him quite in the mood for dancing, like stomping all over zombie corpses. I do the monster mash. Oh, nice to see you too, Miss McFarland. Oh, I thought you'd be dead. I heard things were bad in West Elizabeth. Sure. <laughs> but it'll take more than an apocalypse to take me down. What are you? A demon or a cockroach? Both, I fear. How's your father? Fine and dandy. He should be coming out of that barn any moment now. Daddy! What's he doing in the barn? Daddy, John's here! Mr. Marston, you remember? That idiot bounty hunter. What was he doing in the barn? Just rounding up the undead and keeping them safe so the rest of us can go about our business. He's a real man. He's probably playing around with them. Daddy, stop teasing me! Now come on now! How long's he been in there? Not long. Only since yesterday. Yesterday? I better go have a look for him. Would you, John? You are kind. Call out to me if you find anything. I will do. That is an awfully long time to be playing around with the undead, so we should probably go and check on Mr. McFarlane. Something tells me he's uh, not just playing anymore. Okay, now we just gotta figure out how to get to the barn. We could climb these, but the ladder is actually usable this time, so let's climb that. Okay, here the game is telling us that we can jump over gaps with the running start, so I try to jump this gap here. Yay! <laughs> nice jump! That worked. 
Ah, John Marston, Platform Master. He did kind of like the Donkey Kong Country thing where he like jumped after he ran off the edge. But yeah, we have to actually grab this little plank here and get on this. Just like we did in the main game when we were trying to get into the barn while it was burning. Mm. Alright, we have 400 friends here. You all right? Couldn't really get a good shot on them from that angle, so let's see if we can do better from here. Oh, come on. Please stop wandering around. What, it make it easy on you? Yeah, please. <laughs> Hello there, gentlemen. Nice day we're having. Well, what a shock. Show of hands, who's surprised? No one? No one at all? You were a good man. Damn this shit! Yeah, John gets pretty annoyed when he tries to loot somebody and doesn't get anything. I don't know why, but that's really funny to me. It kind of is. Also, considering how much looting you'll be doing in this DLC, it kind of sucks that you have to look at the the animation every time. Yeah, I can see that being a pain. But thankfully, like I said, if you are diligent at doing all these town liberation missions and cleansing the graveyards and that kind of stuff and doing the challenges, you will not have any trouble with ammo. Well, John, you always do bring sunshine to my life. I'm sorry about your father. I'd like to say he died doing what he loved. But he never was one for eating folks. Not slathering from the lips and howling at the moon. I guess I'll content myself with saying that he died protecting those he loved. Indeed. Well. Take care of yourself, Bonnie. You too, John. Well, that was uplifting. So, where to next? Come on. You can also see that pestilence is also shedding bits of itself. Hmm. At all times. There's a lot of really interesting effects going on with pestilence. I kind of like it. It's pretty cool. Alright, so let's do this shit again. Six dots. I like how the bruisers just kinda use the old windmill flailing attack. <laughs> oh, come on! 
Oh, jeez. Oh, Jesus. Oh. It's a good thing Please, they're just- It's a good thing they're just trying to claw at you and not, uh, bite you. That is good. No, we don't want any of that. Absolutely none of that. Could you not? Let's try this fire bottle. That was... kind of underwhelming. A bit. Uh, the next um, sharpshooter challenge is to kill five burning undead in one dead eye meter, and I didn't quite make it there because I couldn't get a good angle on one of them. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, I just never ended up finishing this one because at that point I just didn't really care. I don't blame you. Okay, friends. Can't we talk about this? We could probably, like, get to higher ground, climb up on one of the awnings or whatnot, but the problem is that the zombies will just kind of cluster up right below you and it's going to be a real pain in the ass to actually hit them. Hmm. There are ways around that later on, but I usually just tend to stick to the ground. And stay mobile. Alright, what do we got? Another mission here at the Sheriff's, so let's go check that out. Come on, let him go! Come on, boy, hey! Well, try to! Sorry, boys, but you didn't give me a whole lot of choice. Hello, John. Welcome to paradise. Hello, Marshal. <laughs> Might have known you'd survive. What's going on? Do I look like I commune with the undead? Well, no. Well, then how would I know? My job is to take care of the folk who live here. Oh, you <laughs> heard that one. How's that going? How's that going? Well, let me put it to you this way. Cattle rustling and bank robbery are at an all-time low. But murder, blood drinking, and psychotic episodes seem to be somewhat prevalent. Either that, or I'm dreaming. That's what I'm hoping, too. How was it getting in here? It was crazy. Oh, they must be hiding again. They come in and then just disappear. Town's been nearly overrun a couple of times. Now we're low on ammunition, and I'm two men down. I'll help you clear the place out if you like. You're a good man, John Marston. But before that, I'm gonna need my deputies back. What happened to them two clowns you had before? Gone? Maybe. I sent Jonah off to look for Eli. They've both been gone for several hours now. Who'd want to eat one of them? <laughs> That's a good question. Where'd you send them? Out near the general store. Jonah's got one of these new guns. I'm sure he can't run into any trouble. These things, they'd stop an elephant. Thank you. No, thank you. I'm sure you got your own troubles. Oh well, off we go to find the idiot deputies. I guess we go ask someone, like maybe the shopkeeper. Eh, might not be a bad lead, yeah. Hey mister. Hey part. You seen a couple deputies nearby? Marshall's boys. Jonah and Eli. Uh, are they Jews, mister? They sound like Jews. I don't know. Why? Why? <laughs> This whole thing is nothing but a Jewish plot. You do know that, don't you? I find that highly unlikely, amigo. Well, I don't like Jews. Or colored folk. Or natives, now that you mention it. Well, you're a nice, kind-hearted man to meet in a time of trouble. 
kind does not come into it. Why? What are you talking about? Why? I bet you like Catholics. I can't stand them neither. Nor women. Fabians, socialists, homosexuals, Asians, or British. Between them, they ruined this country. Ruined it. It was a good country once. Now people are eating each other, and it's all the fault of the Jewish, British, Catholic, homosexual elite and their ideas. Well, I, for one, won't stand for it. Have you ever met a Jewish person? <laughs> Thankfully not. Or a British, Catholic, homosexual? Not in my store. Oh, I, I get it. I see you acting clever. Well, let me tell you this. The Jews killed Lincoln. That's why there is a triangle on the money. And they run Europe like one of them Arabian harems. Now they've sent this here plague to kill all us decent folk. Yep. You, sir, are truly a remarkable fella. Thank you kindly. I must say, it's a rare pleasure to meet someone with such a grasp on human history. You take care of yourself. I'd hate to see you get savaged by someone and watch the life force drain from your hate-filled body. Uh, hey, hold on there. Why don't you join me in my fight, sir? It's not too late. I fear it is for me. Then I will fight them alone. All of them. America is the land of the free. And that means free to people like me, Herbert Moon. Absolutely. No! Oh, no, no! no. They wrote a lot of dialogue for him. Yeah, Herbert Moon was kind of a meme in the original game because he he was saying the same kind of stuff, but they just went completely over the top with him in the DLC. <laughs> okay, come on, Herb. This is for your own good. And good riddance. I think I looted you the first time you died. Okay, but that's enough of that. Let's go find these deputies. Now the slight problem is that I can't actually remember where they are. Of course we do get the radios here, but it's a pretty big radius. Uh yeah, that that's a uh, that's always fun. So I figured Maybe they'd be in the barn. There's some lady on the... In the window there of the barn. Hope she's doing okay. Or maybe here at the blacksmith shop. Nope. Okay, so... Where did you guys go? I genuinely did not remember. Because I had not played this in years. Matt, come out wherever you are. But there we go, we get the M marker here. The M on the minimap now, so... Oh, hello, friends. Hello, boys. Marshall sent me and needs some help. Guess you got other plans. Seriously, enjoy your meal, no problem. Easy now, gentlemen. Remember all the fun times we had? Who could have seen this coming? Hey, never seen you two move so fast. John, this is this is not the time for jokes. I mean, it kind of is, I guess. Okay, he had one bullet, and he also had one bullet. So great, thanks, lads. <laughs> So I guess we just have to go tell the marshal the news that he's gonna have to find some new help. Oh well, it happens. It can't be helped. Oh, hold on. Um, 
I think we should probably. That was your. That was for your own good, lady. Believe me. Because this fellow was looking kind of gray and kind of bloody. Yeah, he seemed hungry. Hello, John. Hello, Marshal. So, you find the boys? I found them. I understand. I hope it was fast for them. It was fast. And they died with their bellies full. Well, one of them did. Good. And there's Jonah's gun. Here, you keep it. After all, you earned it. Thank you. <sighs> Take care of yourself, John. You too, Marshal. Okay, well, I guess next time we'll be continuing with the main missions.